Hello and welcome. This is an update on the one wide, fully tileable, fully refilling, fully automatic potion brewing system. Perfect for setting up a self stocking potion shop if you wish. Um, it's all one wide and let's have a look at it. So, as you can see, it's 12 high, 7 wide. It's pretty much as you see here. So, we'll just have a bit of a close look and go through the blocks. So, you have some droppers facing into hoppers, facing outwards, except for the last one that goes into a barrel. Underneath the barrel is another hopper. That hopper has an item filter set up, so but, um, items that will not go into the um, into the brewing stand. The brewing stand, we've pre-fueled it. 64 blaze is enough to do a lot of potions, so we don't feed in the fuel automatically. Over here we have two droppers, one facing up, one facing left. These need to be supplied with water bottles. System I'll go over in a minute will automatically fill water bottles for you. For you. Then we have a comparator watching the item filter into some redstone dust torch towers you see here. Repeat on one tick, observer looking down, repeat on four, repeat on four, observer coming up. And that's pretty much the entire system. Um, if you've got water bottles in, all you need to do to set it going is make sure that the second ingredient is in the first dropper. So sugar for speed, then for slow, then for more slow, then splash, and then the nether water at the top. And then once that's all set, all you need to do is come here, take the nether wart that would have been there from the last one, if there is one, otherwise get a fresh nether wart and put it in the barrel. And this starts this going. It will fill the water bottles, brew the potions for you. You will get one extra water bottle at the start of the process. Just put it back into the system. That's all you need to do. Um, over here we have the water refilling station. Um, so basically this is what creates the water bottles. So again, we have a dropper facing into a dispenser, facing into a waterlocked block with a hopper underneath. That hopper can feed into other things. So if you're creating a, if you want to put water back into the system, you just have that hopper face into another hopper that's got a barrel on top of it. That hopper is watched by the comparator, which powers a block, which powers something for an observer to see, which powers the dropper. So you don't have to have this completely filled with um, bottles. It's okay if it starts to get empty, it won't break in any way. Um, so it's pretty robust. It'll use up all the empty bottles it's got and keep going. And to get it going, once you've got some empty bottles in there, you just flip the lever and start getting your water bottles. And this will fill up the water bottles for the system. So that's the slice for the water bottles. This is a slice for the brewer. Come down here, we can see it's still brewing because we're doing a very big potion, <laughs> but it will take a while. Um, but as it can go around, um, this would be the last ingredient, I believe. So we'll just watch that go and then see it cycle around for the next potion. So this should only take a minute. And then water bottles go out, water bottles go in, and we're bringing the next lot. So it's automatically refilled the water bottles and started the next lot of potions brewing. And they come down here. And that's pretty much it. Thank you very much.